So Mike, kind of a follow up from the previous video where we discussed then the skill set that new immigrants can get from getting contract job. And we know that there's a lot of new immigrants coming here in Vancouver and all over Canada, but some of them are having hard time finding uh, jobs because either they don't have local experience or their degrees are not recognized or, or maybe sometimes some of them have language barriers. So what tips you have for those people trying to make a new life here in Vancouver or in Canada and try and find jobs? Yeah, it's a great question. And uh, this question is really near and dear to my own heart because uh, my own family uh, immigrated similar to, uh, similar to you many, many years ago. And, uh, you know, Vancouver specifically is a melting pot, very multicultural. So many people are in the same uh, position. But uh, what, what I would say is that um, with the economy being the way it is, I think this is a good time to actually take on uh, those types of uh, opportunities. Uh, many companies with unemployment sitting at 4.7% specifically in BC, uh, organizations are making more concessions around the must have skill set and the certifications that come out with it and even local experiences at times. Uh, you know, we did a, a survey through, uh, through Robert Half, uh, and 86% of HR professionals said that they are actually open to hiring uh, first-time workers uh, or employees who maybe uh, lack some of the skills, uh, as long as they can pick up and be trained um, in, in, a, in, a, in a quick fashion. Uh, so what it means is that, you know, as long as you have kind of the, the, not so much the technical aptitude, but the will to actually learn and pick up things uh, quickly, uh, you may get the shot for that. Uh, so it's, it's a good sign. Uh, in terms of the actual tips that I would share, um, you know, you, you, it's very, very tough when you uh, potentially have an MBA from overseas or, or a degree or a certification may not be recognized out here. I think it's important to emphasize your previous experience. I think that organization needs to understand what would be the benefit? So I always think of it as a value proposition to what your skills will be an end benefit to the organization or, or employer. So you want to highlight the tangible impact that you've made in your previous role that are going to be transferable to the position that you actually are applying for. Uh, and again, looking at um, another point is that you want to ensure that when you are applying, you're not just throwing your blind resume at uh, those opportunities. Again, taking the time uh, to tailor, looking through the skills and seeing how your previous experience matches them will give you an added benefit uh, when you are actually taking the time to, uh, to apply to positions. Yeah, that's a great tip, uh, Mike. I always tell to my clients or people that are asking me for tips, I always tailor your resume to the jobs make sure that you have those keywords. Uh, you cannot change your experience, but the profile part or the summary part, you can change it so that, because recruiters, as we know, they have between six or 10 seconds to check their resume, you know, your name, your profile, what have you done? Do you have the experience, yes or no? And then we move forward. So make sure that tailoring resume is very important key. Thank yeah. you. And uh, if you have, uh, for the audience, if you have any other tips that will be helpful for new immigrants, or if you have experience, please uh, leave it in the comment section. We'd like to hear from you. Share this video to other people so that uh, when they are searching for jobs, they might be, these tips might be helpful for them. And tune in tomorrow for another question with Mike.